Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do brown stew mutton with my sister. Hello. Hola, <laughs> Hola. soy Dora. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm just going to get the seasoning ready for the mutton. For brown stew goat. Okay, so hi again guys. So this is Denisha. So the guest chef for Miss Santana. That's me. Okay. <laughs> so again, so today we're doing the um, brown stew goat. Now I know Jamaicans we're used to, we're accustomed to our curry goat, you know, which is a favorite of mine. But she wants to twist it up a little bit. So we're gonna do the brown stew goat, which is just yeah, as yeah. good. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at our ingredients. Okay. Okay. So here, you know, we'll 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 cut it up in small pieces just as we would um, with our curry goat. Okay, so we get it as small as we can, you know, into little pieces, and we got. Or season, we have all purpose, but I love jerk season. You know, the jerk seasoning put that little oomph into the flavor. But today we don't have we don't have the jerk season. We're out of that, so we can use the all purpose seasoning. So let me sprinkle a little bit. I'm a jerk season kind of girl, you know. Yeah, but flavor. yeah, that flavor. Yeah. All right, and then we put the we have a Jamaican meat seasoning here, so we're going to use that one. Just a little chips, not much. We got our garlic powder, not too much of a big fan of garlic powder anyways I like to use the original garlic cloves yeah, it's, you know it's which we have here but I do put a little sprinkle of the garlic powder there all right so okay and we got our browning but we're gonna put that for last okay so let's we can go ahead and put our All these good stuff in. Because we're going to get all our ingredients in there. Okay, we're going to rub it all in. <laughs> All right, so all the ingredients is in the, no, what am I talking about? I leave my carrots out. <laughs> Real good. You know, this kind of bring back memories when I used to work in Jamaica. During lunchtime, we used to go to a, a, a cook shop to buy food, and this was one of the my favorite food, the brown stew, the brown stew goat. You know, that's when I first had my first brown stew goat, and it was real good. You know. See, looking all good, looking nice. Okay, so you would seasoning season this up and allow it to marinate for like you know maybe half an hour you know 
The good old Jamaican way is to, is to season your meat overnight. Okay, you know guys, so it's time to put it in the pot. So now you're gonna heat, your, heat it up so it's hot. And then we're gonna put the oil in the pot, okay? And then as soon as it's, it's heated, well, in the meantime, we can separate these, um, separate the meat from the seasoning, you know, because we're going to stir fry it a bit. And I don't like burnt seasoning, you know, so we separate it ahead of time. Okay guys, now I have separated all my 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 um seasoning from the meat because I'm gonna stir fry it and I don't like burnt seasoning so I guess you don't like burnt seasoning either. Who does? <laughs> you know? So you know, for those persons who like spice, they could you know this is the time you could pop your pepper, your scotch bonnet pepper in there, or your garlic and stuff like that. You know, but for the sake of everybody else who don't like spice, so I wouldn't advise you to do that. You can spice it up after you cook, so that everybody can eat. Then people then lean. Hmm? They spice it up after they cook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because that's they no, that's no fun, right? Yeah. I love spice. All right, All right. So that's hot enough. So you gently put it in there. You don't, you don't drop it in there until it splashes on it. You know, spread them out so that they all get a, you know, not really frying like you're doing chicken, but you want it to get a little. Stir fry somewhat. Mm -hmm. All right. And now this is where you put some water. Some water in the seasoning. But I'm going to allow that to, you know, simmer a little bit on its own. So this is where I get some water. Mm-hmm. Get in there and turn them around. I love burnt stew more than curry. You do? Yeah. Uh, I love curry. Well, I'm a, uh, I love curry anything. Anything <laughs> edible. <laughs> okay? Curry, curry goat, curry chicken, curry mango. Curry pork. No. 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 But this place, this place, Zungu was the name of the place where I used to get lunch. Mm -hmm. You know, when I used to work in Jamaica. I would eat bread time, we, lunch time, we used to go to Zungu. It was in Tottenham Park. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's still there. Okay, guys, so. All right, so it's not brown brown, but we stir fried a little bit, okay? And then now we add some water to our seasoning, and then we're gonna add it to the to, to the meat, and then allow it to simmer, you know. And you keep adding water to this. But in this case, you're just going to add enough water to it and put the cover over it since it's the pressure cooker. Right. Yeah. Right. So for persons who don't like pressure cooker, you could just keep adding water until until meat is, you know, succulent, tender, tender. yeah. <laughs> you can add a little bit more browning. Just for color. Yeah. All right, so we can cover the pressure cooker now when we left about 15 minutes? Yeah. 15 to 20 minutes. You don't want it too soft. 
you know, but soft enough, you know, to your own liking. Okay. Welcome back, guys. Okay. So, we took it out of the pressure cooker. Now, you know, we're going to allow it to simmer, as we would say, sim simmer. Right? Love the key to my bima. <laughs> No, 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 okay, so it's simmering. So at this stage, you can probably put some, some like, like, you know, Irish potatoes. Irish potatoes. You know, looks like it need a little bit more brown. And where's it brown? Okay, so we're just putting a little bit more browning in there. You know, and then for thickening of gravy. We're adding potato. some Irish potato. You know, you dice them. Okay. You know, of course, you can cut it over your cutting board, but. It's a little pep up. You know, a little dash of this, a pinch of that. You know, it was some of the spruce up your pot. Okay. Smell good. Mmm, you smell that? And then at, at this point you could, you know, put some thyme in there so you could have that. Oh, you did already. Yeah. yeah. But you know, at the final stage, yeah. you get some escalion or thyme. Put it in there, close it, and allow it to simmer. Okay. Mmm, guys, you should smell this. Mm -hmm. Wow, looks nice. Mm -hmm. Soft. Looks really good. I say a ton up the kitchen to her. Okay. I know you can start this with white rice, boiled green bananas, you know, whatever you like to eat it with. Yeah. It's good. It's good for supper, good for dinner. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it looks good. And this is the finished product. So, people, thank you guys for watching. And please remember to subscribe to my channel and have yourself a wonderful day.